video was not sponsored by Naturalistas or Purpose Toys. I bought all the products myself. Toya doesn't prioritize our show. Mm -mm. She doesn't. What are you talking about? Of course you're a priority. All of my dolls are important to me. I've just been really busy. I haven't had time to do anything. Sounds like another excuse to me. Is that a new office? Um... Like we said, not a priority. In my defense, crafting is what we do. Those videos will take priority over some of the other segments we do. Like our TV shows. Then how do you explain this? Where did you get that foodie mini brand? Okay, I can explain. I love mini brands. I mean, it's definitely a turbulent relationship, but you know. I love them. When they're not doubles. We're doubles. doubles. That's not what I meant. But if you want an episode of Life on the Shelf, fine, fine. Yeah, let's do it. Let me just go and talk to the rest of the crew. Ah! Okay, so I kind of hurt my leg. So walking up and down stairs, switching out hidden doll rooms to film Life on the Shelf isn't going to happen right now. Oh, wow. Isn't that convenient? So I guess today is kind of like a sick day and we're just going to do whatever we want. So enjoy the randomness or not. Now let's get started. Wow, that was a really long intro. Can someone get me a bag of ice? And bring back my girls. I'm adding a new doll to the shelf. What? She said she's adding, right? Not taking away. Out of control. Congratulations. Welcome to the shelf. Hi, everybody. My name is Ember. That's E-M-B-E-R. Is she for real? Next. OMG! My name is Whitney. My parents are big fans in the 80s. I don't think we can handle any more changes. Savannah, did you do something to your hair? You look different. I have a passion for fashion. This uniform is so fetch. Did she just quote Mean Girls? Some of you may already know this, but my human Toya creates some of the out-of-box social content for naturalistas on YouTube and Instagram. But this video is not sponsored. I bought the dolls myself and I'm about to have some fun. We are inside our Froggy & Co. jewelry store turned boutique. This is the naturalista Dana. According to the box, she is a hairstylist and the owner of a hair salon. We can see the other dolls included. I currently have two of them in my personal collection. Out of the box, we do have a little bit of box hair, which we can correct by just fluffing up those curls. They bounce back nicely. We're getting a lot of hair here. This line is all about loving natural hair. So I am here for all of these big hair don't care moments. I'm finding it pretty easy to position and it's staying where I put it. She has brown eyes with a light shimmer on the eyelid. Then it looks like a purplish color eyeshadow. She has a reddish lip color. She wears earrings, a glittery gold dress with cutouts on the sides and naturalistas across the chest. It is a long dress with a slit in the back. She comes with a gold colored purse and flesh tone heels. Here is Leah. I pre-ordered both dolls on Amazon a few months back. They were $12.99 each. Leah is a natural hair model, rocking some stretched 4C hair. We do have a little bit of box hair right out of the box. Her hair is pulled up in the front, and I wonder if we can twist this. Yeah, we can, but it's gonna take a while. Two and a half hours later, we are done. I kept my twist pretty thin because my doll's hair is cut a little shorter in the front than it is in the back. And I just take those short pieces and roll them to the side. Then I gave her a dip in hot water and a rinse. But once dried, we've got some length. Before dipping it into the hot water, I braided the bottom so we can get a little crinkle there. And she is totally reminding me of my twist from a few years ago. 
I placed her back in her original dress, which is blue and has a little sparkle. Naturalistas is printed across the chest. She comes with a blue purse and flesh tone heels. It is possible to balance her to stand. Her feet are larger than a Barbie's. They're about the size of a rainbow high doll, but more narrow. Is there a possibility for a little shoe swapping there? Oh yeah, she can fit their shoes. Her makeup looks pretty clean. We have a light brown on the eyelid and I guess like a deep slate blue creating a smoky eye. I'm loving the lip color. It looks great with her skin. She does come with earrings and they are removable. Yes. I like the hands. You can see a little nail detail. There's a separation in a few of the fingers so we can possibly put rings on her. The other hand is a little more flat, but we can still see those nails. She has the basic five points of articulation with movement at the head, the shoulder, and the hip. Naturalistas were created by Dee Dee Wright Ward, founder of Purpose Toys. And I do create some of the craft tutorials on Purpose Toys YouTube channel. Once again, this video is not sponsored. I'm just stating the facts. I wonder if they can fit other doll clothes. This is from a one size fits most Barbie fashion pack. The shorts are a little large because they can fit curvy Barbies, but classic Barbie shorts seem to fit just fine. This rainbow high skirt is a good fit. However, I couldn't get the top to close in the back. But that top had no stretch. So let's try Georgia Bloom's other look. I got it to almost close. It's barely holding on, but you can't tell from the front. It took a little work to get the sweater on, but here it is. But the pants fit kind of great. So that is good to know. With their heels on, these dolls are about 11 and a half inches tall. At Target, I found this retro phone stand. It was in that value section at the front of the store. I think it's like Bullseye's Playground. I don't remember. I think it's a great size for like an 18 inch doll. You might be able to get away with like a smart doll and maybe a 1 6 scale dollhouse if you really wanted to, but those buttons seem kind of huge. I cannot put my phone inside in the case, but out of the case, it works perfect. It stands up on its own so our dolls can sit and watch a little summer in Cali in space. And when is the next summer in Cali? I'm injured, remember? You can't fuss at somebody with a hurt leg. All I can do is sit here and open Rainbow High Mini Accessory Studio shoes. These were $9.99 each, so I didn't buy a bunch. And I know pretty much nothing about this product. Like, do the shoes match the color that's on the outside? We have a little paper receipt and a certificate of authenticity stating that these are for fall 2022. I like the box. It feels very on brand. There is a collector's guide showing all of the different shoes that we can find. And this little QR code really works. On the back, we can see all of the purses. They do have different levels of availability. When it comes to the shoes, I really want crystal teddy slippers. Their availability is stylish, so hopefully I have a good chance. Inside the outer box, there is another shoe box. And in this shoe box, we have a little bag. The shoes are wrapped in tissue paper with a little seal which means we're gonna have to mess that up or can we just get them out without messing up the seal? Oh man, let's see if we can do this carefully. Ah, oh, we did. And our shoes are pink. I take that back, these are violet. These are violet's crystal heels. You can see little crystal heels in the back. So it seems like the color of the shoe does correlate with the color of the box. Or maybe that was just chance and we should try again. This one is blue. We get another receipt and certificate of authenticity. Let's open the little shoe box. 
Here are the shoes that we're gonna open carefully. Oops, I just took that whole sticker off. Oh, that was just the top part. You know, I can probably glue that back together if I really wanted to. But here we have Gabriella's Python Hills with a blue bag for the heels to go inside. And then we can put it into the shoe box, right? I don't have any designer shoes. Is this how it is done? But most importantly, we got blue shoes in the blue box and violet shoes in the violet box. You know I'm gonna try these on my Naturalista, right? Well, they stay on, but there's definitely a little space in the shoe. But I think if we really wanted to, we might be able to get away with it. Here are the lavender heels. What do you think? This box is a rainbow. The little cover with the receipt is a rainbow. The shoe box is as well. Let's see what's inside. Ooh, colorful paper there. And we have a white bag with gold print. And our shoes are, uh, they're, they're black and white. Oh, but they're fabric. And they are the rainbow sparkle ankle boots. The closed shoe looks good on a naturalista. And we should probably try it on a rainbow high doll since it is Rainbow High. Confession, Georgia Bloom is my favorite Rainbow High doll. <gasps> Sorry, RH Mini Toya, but I like her makeup better and her face isn't all sparkly. Look at how cute she is in those glasses. Rocking those black and white shoes, the violet shoes, and the python heels. Personally, these are kind of expensive to me. $10 for one pair of doll shoes? I don't know. But Georgia Bloom, welcome to the shelf. It's like an endless new doll day around here. Where is she getting all these uniforms from? You know what I wonder? I wonder if a naturalista can fit a made-to-move body. This is Fashionista 166. Hello, Madison. Uh-oh, but I think it's a little too warm. That was a close one. So I'm gonna borrow this doll's made-to-move rock climber body. Everyone, say it with me. Off with their heads. I place the dolls in a plastic bag. I'm pairing Dana with this yoga made-to-move Barbie. I put all the dolls head first into hot water until the head softens and can hopefully be removed. Wow, this one's really on there. Then add the head to the new body to make a made-to-move naturalista. Leah is not a perfect match, but she looks pretty good. And she can still fit her original dress, but not the shoes. Putting the doll on the made-to-move body does change the face shape a little. I like Dana's hair. It's making me think Diana Ross. But I like Leah's face proportions. I am partial to a smaller eye but I only have one uniform left. <gasps> and that's it for today's video. Was it a life on the shelf video? Naturalista's rainbow high shoe surprise box? Or a target fun find? Or a naturalista made to move custom doll video? Oh well, whatever it was. Thank you for joining us. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell. Follow us on Instagram at My Froggy Stuff, the Frog Vlog, and Bella of My Froggy Stuff. And we will see you next time. Bye! Hey, I'm still waiting on that ice.